I guess you've been affected by the cancellation from WestJet due to the strike, and I'm also one of them, so I'm just sharing my experience with the whole cancellation process. For me, it happened Sunday, June 30th. I found out in the morning that my flight was canceled. I kind of suspected it might be, and it was. Then I went to the WestJet website, trying to figure out what to do. So the first thing I want to say is when you log in, they should really walk you through the process. You shouldn't be scrambling to go to 10 other websites like YouTube, CNN News, or something like that to find information. They should have a flow chart that pops up and gives you instructions if your flight's been canceled. It should just say, click here, and, you know, just walk you through what to do, right? There should also be a list of the benefits you qualify for with links or contact information so you can easily get them. Maybe the government should regulate this so... You know, you're not left scrambling trying to get a lawyer to figure out what rights or benefits you're entitled to, right? Anyway, we know problems happen, but my overall experience is that the communication hasn't been good at all. I did get a phone text message saying my flight was canceled. It indicated they have 48 hours to find me a new flight. That's a Canadian law. Unfortunately, they didn't say how they're going to advise me or where I should find updates on this. Also, I can't contact them. I tried to call some of their phone support numbers that are on their website in their contact section without any success. I tried calling most numbers only to find out they will not be taking phone calls. It doesn't matter what phone number I use since there is no one to handle calls. I guess they're overloaded and so they're saying, you know, that basically you got to go to the website on their self-serve page, but that didn't work either. There was no way to book a new flight on their self-serve page. With all the tech we have, I am surprised that a self-serve page cannot be made that allows us to select a replacement flight. I would have been happy to use a self-serve page if they actually had one that worked. A self-serve page should basically ask you if you want to book another flight and give you a list of flights and then give you the option to select a flight. But there's nothing like that. Their self-serve page was also not very clear about what options I had, so I kept going through the steps. And then when I clicked the last button that I thought would give me some useful options, nothing happened. I guess their webmaster was asleep at the wheel when they made that part of their website. What they should do to alleviate a lot of pressure on their side is to indicate how often they will be updating us about alternative flights. For example, they could say that we are not accepting phone calls or communication by their chat box at this time, but will provide updates every four hours or something like that. These updates should be on their website as well as by email and by text messages. I am sure with all the technology these days that this is very easy to do. We should not be scrambling to figure all this out. We all just want to know our options and what to expect. Since I had no way to contact WestJet, I have been all over the internet just chasing the wind trying to get information. The policy at WestJet seems to be, don't call us, we'll call you. So it's very frustrating. I think they could be a lot better that way. So that's my big beef with them. The lack of communication for a big company like WestJet is just very strange and hard to understand. I also tried to contact them using their chat box, but it gave a message that they were not accepting any communication at this time due to high chat volumes. Now I don't even know where to find the chat box. Maybe they've taken it down, but it doesn't matter since it will not help anyway. They really should have had a big banner on all their pages that they are not accepting support phone calls or messaging by their chat box at this time. In this way, we would not be burning up time trying to call them or chat with them. We all know problems happen, but what has made this experience a big headache is that there has not been a regular flow of communication. If there's anyone that's watching this video that had success, please let me know what we can do to get information from WestJet. Please let me know your experience in the comments section below so others can also benefit. I imagine many other people have had a similar experience because there's just not an easy way to contact WestJet at this time. I'm not sure if there's any benefits for us due to this cancellation, other than them getting us a flight within 48 hours. One YouTube newscast station I watched said it is a good idea to wait the 48 hours, and then if you don't get a confirmation from WestJet for a replacement flight, then book your own flight and later contact WestJet to cover the cost for the amount you spent on the flight. If they refuse to refund you, then you could take them to small claims court. I know that would be a hassle, but an option that you might want to consider. Well, that is all I have for now, so I want to say thanks for watching. And make sure to comment below if you have any tips for anyone else on what we can do, or if you know of any benefits we are entitled to because of the canceled flights. 
To help spread this video, make sure to hit the like button and send it to anyone else you know who is affected by the WestJet flight cancellations. Again, thanks for watching and have a great day. Talk to you soon.